Hello students, this is my first lecture of graph theory. We'll start by seeing how, what is a graph. A graph is a collection of two sets V and A, where V is the collection of vertices V0 to Vn-1, which is also called as nodes, and E is the collection of edges from E1 to An-1, where an edge is an arc which connects two nodes. Two vertices E x and y of G are connected if there is an edge x y between them and these vertices are then called adjacent or neighbor vertices. Here the nodes x and y are called end points of the edges. In this graph x y x and y are vertices edge is this x y and end points are this x and y which is also called as node. In the graph G, a node is not adjacent to any other node is called an isolated node. Like in this graph, this node D is an isolated node, whereas A, B, C are the vertices which are connected to each other. A graph is finite if it has a finite number of vertices and a finite number of edges. Otherwise, it is a infinite. Finite means there is certain number of vertices and a certain number of edges like gv4 and eg3 types of graphs there are mainly two types of graph directed and undirected graph in directed graph direction is defined directed graph is also known as digraph which has ordered pair of vertices v1 and v2 where v1 is the tail and v2 is the head of the edge in this in this type of graph each edge has direction means v1 v2 it shows direction from v1 to v2 and v2 v1 it shows direction from v2 to v1 it represents different edges like in this graph vg there are five vertices 1 2 3 4 and 5 and there are edges c direction is defined 1 2 2 3 2 2 4 2 3 4 2 1 5 2 4 and 5 to 3. Another is undirected graph. In undirected graph, direction is not defined and the vertices like V0, V1, it can be represented as V0, V1 or V1, V0. For example, in this graph, there are 4 vertices 1, 2, 3 and 4 and there are edges 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 1. We can represent 1, 2 as 2, 1 also and 2, 3 as 3, 2 also. Both will be the same. Next one is weighted graph. Weighted graph in this every edge has a weight defined in it. When a weight is associated with each edge of a graph then it is called as weighted graph otherwise unweighted graph. Like in this graph there are three vertices A, B and C. A, B has a weight 2, B, C has a weight 5 and A, C has a weight 6. Then this is, it is a weighted graph. Self edge or self loop, an edge uh, which starts from a vertex and moves back to it is called a self edge or self loop. Like in this diagram, this edge is known as self loop because its starting and ending edge, uh, uh, starting and ending node is the same. It starts from B and ends at B itself. The above graph is an undirected graph which contains 5 vertices A, B, C, and D and E and 7 edges A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, D, A and B to B. Degree The degree of a vertex is the number of edge incident on a vertex. The self loop is counted twice. The degree of a vertex is denoted by D, V. Now in this graph it is a it is undirected graph. There are four uh, vertices A, B, C, D. We will show degree by D, A is equal to 2. There are two vertices, uh, two edges, sorry. D, B, 4. The degree of node B is 4. 1, 2 and the self loop is counted twice. 2 plus 2. D, C is 2 and D, D is 2. Now this is the question.
in degree in an un, uh, in an directed graph there are two types in degree and out degree but in degree of a vertex v is a directed uh, in a directed graph is the number of edges ending or terminating at vertex v it is denoted as index v and out degree of a vertex v in a directed graph is the number of edges beginning at vertex v it is denoted as out deck v now in this graph there are three vertices 1 2 and 3 and there are multiple edges now in degree and out degree in degree of 1 is 2 2 two arrows are there we'll count the arrows in degree of 2 is 1 only one arrow is there and in degree of 3 is 1 2 and 3 3 out degree of 1 is we'll count the tails 1 2 and 3 out degree of 2 is 1 2 and out degree of 3 is 